Good evening Philippines, Mike Pado once again and we are back to our topical weather analysis for this Monday through Wednesday, March 1 to 3, 2021 and this is brought to you by Typhoon 2000. Let's begin with our update, here's the latest graph set beginning today, Monday, March 1 until tomorrow, Tuesday, March 2. We have a uh, moderate high pressure area to the east of Taiwan generating some uh, Easterly surface wind flow across the eastern sections of uh, the country, particularly here along the Cagayan Valley region that includes the Batanes and Babuyan Kobob Islands, as well as over eastern Visayas, which some of the uh, thunderstorm clouds is already uh, has been moving westward, affecting uh, parts of central Visayas, and also over the Sulu Archipelago and uh, Palawan. So these areas will have uh, partly sunny to mostly cloudy skies with isolated rain showers and thunderstorms, particularly in the afternoon or evening. We have here a surface trough to the south of Palau, nothing to worry about, not expected to develop. And right now we don't have any developing LPAs for the next uh, 5 to 7 days based, for, based on the latest uh, computer model output. We have here a uh, developing frontal system over the middle of the western uh, located in the vicinity of Iwato moving towards the uh, east and another frontal system building uh, along uh, South Korea with its cold front affecting the southern China. So for the next 24 hours uh, tomorrow evening or afternoon we have another um, surge of the northeast monsoon, but it will be only limited over the extreme northern parts of the zone, particularly the northern sections of Cagayan Valley. So far, that's the latest from our uh, graph set. The temperatures across the Philippine Islands is uh, slightly higher, reaching as high around the 32 degrees centigrade on the average, with lows of 24 degrees Celsius in low land areas. But over Baguio, expect also uh, low temperatures, so I'm still up to 18 degrees. And so far, that's the latest from graph set. Here's the uh, fast animation. You can see here some uh, thunderstorms generated by the easterly surface wind flow and some localized thunderstorms across the mountains of Benguet and Cordillera as of this time. And here's the zoom in satellite animation. As you can see here, the easterly uh, generated uh, uh, cloud clusters over Palawan and eastern Visayas, as well as over Cagayan Valley. But some localized uh, convective uh, thunderstorms can be seen here, building and bringing some heavy downpour across uh, the uh, Cordillera and Benguet Mountains. So areas like uh, uh, La Union, and also Benguet will be expecting some thunderstorms as of now. And as we look at our rainfall accumulation for the next three days until Wednesday, we could clearly see here some uh, uh, thunderstorm activity uh, for the next three days across the uh, southern portions of Cagayan Valley. That includes Isabela and uh, portions of the uh, Benguet Mountains as well as uh, Aurora province and also over here over southern summer and the northern portions of later so so far those are thunderstorm uh, uh, cl clouds that is expected to uh, bring some downpour across these areas for the next three days as we look at our uh, uh, three-day uh, rain and uh, wind forecast including the pressure forecast for tomorrow afternoon you can see some possible thunderstorms in some portions of central and northern Luzon and also across the mid western sections of uh, Mindanao and by Wednesday afternoon still some possible uh, showers or thunderstorms will be expected in some areas of northern and central Luzon particularly over the eastern sections of Isabela or northern Aurora brought about by the easterly surface wind flow and also uh, some showers uh, isolated fashion across uh, Bicol region so far that's the latest from our three day rainfall and wind forecast and uh, if we are 
if you want to know if there's still some uh, effects of the northeast monsoon since we are on a break since we are now entering the month of march usually the end of the uh, northeast monsoon will be during the last week of the month of march uh, for the next uh, uh, three days there could be some moderate or strong northeast monsoon affecting just the uh, extreme northern parts of Luzon over Cagayan, uh, northern Cagayan and the northern portions of Ilocos uh, Norte and becoming more frequent over the Babuyan and Batanes Kubo Islands as you can see it here and on Wednesday afternoon and evening it will start to weekend returning back to the usual easterly surface wind flow so far for this week, there's nothing to show when it comes to the um, northeast monsoon. It's purely easterly surface wind flow affecting uh, much of the Philippine Islands. Some localized northeasterly flow, but this is not uh, from the northeast monsoon. And if we move forward for next week, Monday, uh, there might be some light northeast monsoon affecting... Uh, uh, the uh, northern portions of Luzon, but generally it's purely easterly surface wind flow or some uh, uh, lighter northeasterly surface wind flow by next week. So uh, it's still uh, early to say if it's the end of the uh, Amihan or the northeast monsoon, but it looks like we are getting into that uh, part of the month that the northeast monsoon will slowly. Uh, say goodbye since we are now moving into the spring equinox which will uh, start uh, between March 21 to 23 so uh, end of March is the start of the hot dry season across various parts of the country so there you go that's the latest from our uh, update for the Philippines and we will be returning again come Wednesday to give you more update on the weather. I'm from Typhoon 2000, this is Mike Pado reporting. Stay safe always, be hashtag weatherwiser. And thank you so much for watching our channel.